Today we're doing a little shopping for some Coastal Grandmother style home essentials. So if you've recently discovered that you're a Coastal Grandmother, keep watching to see the 10 things you need to make a cozy Coastal Grandmother home. My name is Belle, welcome to Hampton Your House. I make videos about all things Hampton style and I would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss anything new coming up. If you haven't heard of the coastal grandmother trend or of Hampton style before, I've got a few videos you can check out to explain everything so you can watch those after this one. We're gonna jump right into some retail therapy now and all of the items mentioned will be linked just below this video in the description box below. If you're not sure what that is, you'll see a little written blurb of the video and just click the word more. Or if you're on your phone, I think it's a little drop down arrow. And then you'll find all the shopping items labeled in categories. I've got tons of gorgeous things for you to check out, so let's get into it. First thing I think you need to make a cozy coastal grandmother home is some great inspiring cookbooks. This could inspire ideas for your next dinner party or for a quiet date night at home or just generally inspire you to cook creatively and try new ingredients and techniques. Sometimes even just flipping through and looking at the pictures can inspire new ideas of things you'd like to cook and help you get out of the rut of cooking the same things over and over. One of my favourite cookbook authors is Australian author Donna Hay. Her recipes are always relatively simple but stunning and she has a great range of book options from entertaining to recipes for cooking with kids one pot recipes and cooking the classics. I have this one called the new classics and it includes basic things like how to cook pasta and how to cook a roast along with lots of interesting creative recipes. And if your cookbooks look gorgeous and can also double as coffee table books, it's a huge bonus. I've got a cookbook on my coffee table and I often find visitors flipping through it. I think that Stanley Tucci's book, The Tucci Table, also looks really inspiring. And he's got little personal stories running through it too, which makes for a really interesting read, as well as some beautiful recipes. There's also a great Jamie Oliver book called Superfood Family Classics. It has a lot of really healthy recipes that your kids will love. But even if you don't have kids, this book would be great because it uses a lot of really healthy everyday ingredients with flair. Just keep in mind that with cookbooks, depending where you are in the world. You may have to convert some measurements from imperial to metric and vice versa, but with Google it's obviously very easy to do. Number two. Well, you need a place to relax outdoors while you're looking through your beautiful cookbooks. So Adirondack chairs, deck chairs, a hammock or a set of sun lounges is next on the list. Adirondack chairs, also known as Cape Cod chairs, are surprisingly extremely comfortable and they have a very sophisticated coastal look. They're usually made of wood, but you can also get these ones on Amazon, which are made of strong plastic, so they're weatherproof. They're a little more on the pricey side, but they'll definitely last you a long time. The wood chairs may need paint touch-ups from time to time, and they'll need to be put in a sheltered spot in extreme weather conditions, but they're also a lovely choice and they're a bit cheaper. Fabric deck chairs are another great option, like these cute blue and white stripy ones. They fold away flat, which is great for storage when you're not using them, and they're also really comfortable. Hammocks are one of my favourite things. There's really nothing much that's nicer than sitting in a good hammock. And these ones are a great quality fabric with nice, subtle, striped designs. Or you can get this nice natural colour as well. Don't forget that you'll need either a hammock frame or a couple of great trees or posts to attach this one to. And whether you have a pool or not, some stunning sun lounges like this set will make you feel like you're at a beautiful coastal holiday location. This three piece set also comes with a little table complete with extra storage, three cushion cover sets and storage covers for when they're not in use. I think this exact one might only be available in Australia at the moment but if you follow the link in the description box anyway Amazon will automatically look for similar options that are available in your area for you.
Our next Amazon item is some beautiful classic salt and pepper grinders with a modern coastal twist. I've got a few types here to show you. I love this grinder set in acacia wood and you can get a silver or gold version of the hardware. The silver version comes with a tray to stand them in as well. I think they look really sophisticated and well made and they have a modern silhouette but have the warmth of the wood to add some charm. Then I have these ceramic blue ombre ones to show you which I bought recently and I absolutely love them. These are just a really nice fresh shade of blue so they're the perfect thing to brighten up your kitchen and because they have the traditional silhouette they look really elegant while also having a fresh modern coastal appeal. Something that always creates such a cozy ambience in winter is a fireplace, but if you don't happen to have one, I would highly recommend my Dimplex fireplace heater. You can have it on as a blow heater or you can have just the flame look on without the heat and it looks surprisingly realistic. I love the white one that we have, but unfortunately they seem to be really hard to find at the moment, so I'll link a few similar options for you to look at. These are perfect for occasional heat in a bedroom or lounge room, but we keep ours in the open living area, and as we're most often using the ducted heating, we just use this heat for short periods of time in the cold mornings, and then continue to use the flame look with the ducted heating on later in the day. It's amazing what a difference it makes to the warm feeling of the room to have the little fireplace running and this is a great option for if you're renting or if you don't want to make any major changes to your house. Here are some nice options of similar fireplace heaters which are linked below and you can also get much bigger ones which are freestanding as well. Just make sure that you read all the reviews and get one that has the most realistic looking flame. I highly recommend a little fireplace heater to make your home feel cozy in winter. else that will add to the ambience of your cozy coastal grandmother Hampton style home is candles and candlesticks. I think the white wood or whitewashed wood look is perfect for the coastal grandmother aesthetic. Whether you prefer pillar candles or the elegant tall thin candles. I love these pillar candle holders from Amazon. And these thin candle holders are stunning too. And they seem very sturdy for tall candlesticks. You can use real candles or you can always go the route of faux candles if you like, which are great for if you have kids or pets, or if you want something that will stay alight outdoors. These ones here are the most realistic looking faux candles I've ever seen. So of course they're on the pricier side, but they're made with real wax instead of plastic. And they have a remote with a timer option, and you can set the candle to flicker or steady flame. I love that these look like freshly lit candles with only a small circle of the wax melted. These really are the gold standard of faux candles. And this next set is quite a bit cheaper, but still very realistic looking. They just look like the wax has melted down more, and they also have two remote controls and a timer setting. So whether you're using real or faux candles, they would definitely add to the cozy atmosphere of your coastal grandmother home. Our next Amazon item for a cozy coastal grandmother home is a vintage classic look toaster. There's just something really welcoming about a really fun vintage classic toaster in a pretty colour or a white or cream. A nice change from the stainless steel look ones that we all had for a while. And it turns that everyday appliance from something you don't necessarily want to see into something you love looking at. We got our blue smeg toaster as a gift and it's something that really brightens up our kitchen and it's really fun to use. It comes in a two slice or a four slice and lots of different colors. I'll put a couple of different links in the description box because it seems like these are really hard to find at the moment. So definitely shop around for availability in your area and for a good price if you're after one of these. And don't forget you can always ask to see if they can match a price if you find one locally. There are lots of other toasters with a similar vibe to this one for you to choose from though, like this one from DeLonghi which is a beautiful light blue. 
this really cute cream colored one from Kenwood with a tile pattern print on the sides or this light beige one here with the cute retro shape which is similar to the Smeg. But I think the general vibe to go for is a vintage pastel colored toaster that feels classic happy and adds to the relaxing atmosphere of your home. Having the colour makes it feel almost more like a ceramic vase or something rather than a toaster. So it's decorative as well as useful. This DeLonghi beige and white stripe toaster is also a very cute coastal option. And this gorgeous Morphe Richards toaster is another lovely option with a bit more sparkle. Different textured soft furnishings can help to create a cozy layered look in your home and that's where throw rugs come in. Throw rugs are the perfect way to make a space look more relaxed, cozy and comforting. This gorgeous grey diamond patterned woven throw rug is a really great price and would be perfect for some added style and coziness in a coastal home. The pattern is double sided so you can change up the look a bit whenever you want to and it's such a neutral relaxing colour it would go well with pretty much any decor. And if you're after something a bit warmer for sitting on the couch in winter, this stunning mid blue plush throw rug would be amazing in a coastal grandmother home. I love the knit pattern. It's almost like a herringbone design. The colour is really beautiful and it also comes in a beautiful beige colour too if you want something more neutral. You can get it in either a throw rug size or different blanket sizes to use on a bed. I can just imagine both of these blankets somewhere in the something's got to give house. Another coastal grandmother staple are ginger jars and vases. Whether you use them functionally in the kitchen or as decoration on tables, shelves and mantles. The blue and white patterned ones are the classic Hamptons look, like this pretty one with the blue lotus pattern on it. And this one comes in three different sizes. You can use these just as a jar or take the lid off and use it as a vase. If you want something similar but in more neutral colours, this white lattice vase is a great price at the moment and it looks really elegant alone or with a single piece of greenery in it or with a beautiful bunch of hydrangeas in it. I have a really similar one and it looks stunning. Now if you want something even more neutral, you could try this gorgeous ceramic jug which doubles as a vase or this cute neutral vase that would pretty much go with everything. If you want some greenery to put in them, I recommend some eucalyptus stems like these. With this lot you get 24 stems for a quite a good price. Or some pretty blue hydrangeas like these ones. Coastal Grandmother Home also needs an abundance of beautiful coffee table books to curl up on the couch with in winter or to flip through on the sun lounge in summer. Two from Amazon that I think are really gorgeous are Elements of Style and Elements of Family Style written by Erin Gates, which both have loads of style advice from a design expert in a down-to-earth, relatable way and lots of stunning photos for inspiration. And of course, another great option is Joanna Gaines' book Homebody, which also has beautiful style tips and inspiration. Or for more of a novel style read, The Magnolia Story by Chip and Joanna Gaines is a very interesting and inspiring read. And it's also a great one for your coffee table. I also love reading about the history of designers. So I'd recommend The Little Book of Chanel and The Little Book of Dior. Both tell fascinating stories about the life and work of these prominent designers and they're filled with interesting pictures from these designers throughout the ages. These are also a little more cost effective than some of the bigger books. So if you're looking for something on a smaller budget, these are great. And as our final Amazon item for a coastal grandmother home, you need a gorgeous farmer's market tote bag. Whether you're just going to the supermarket or to some outdoor fruit and veg markets, something like this gorgeous jute bag with a beautiful French print on it will make you feel so fancy while you're doing your shopping. 
Here's another gorgeous option too, with a bit of a French provincial stripe look. Both of these bags have some reinforcement in the base with some water resistant material. You could also use these as a beach bag or for a picnic or general shopping bag. And when you're not using them, these bags would look beautiful hanging on a hook in a laundry or a mudroom area. Well, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed our little shopping trip today and I hope that it's given you some great inspiration for how to transform your home into a cozy coastal grandmother home. If you saw some items that you love, don't forget to check out the links in the description box below. And I had so many more ideas of other items I could show you that I just couldn't fit them all into this video. So if you're interested in this type of content, let me know in the comments and I might make a part two. I would really love to have you subscribe if you enjoyed this video and please stick around and check out some of my other videos on Coastal Hampton style and Coastal Grandmother style. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!